let me uh, show you how to sharpen and then uh, I'll explain something else on top of it. So you can see it's the pretty crude sharpening and I actually sharpen rather crudely. And there's two ways around this. So you can do a much more careful sharpening and we wanna pull back the wood from the Carbothello chalk in this case and just a little bit by little bit. And I'm looking for a taper and I'll draw out exactly what we're looking for. And so I wanna get any little bits of wood away. And I have a heavy hand, so I don't want a whole lot of lead or charcoal or chalk exposed. I want that wood to support it. But others like it very long, so you'll experiment with that to see which is best for you. And I usually sharpen a couple of them so that uh, if I do break one, then I'm good. And sometimes the the, uh, the medium inside is is broken in the pencil. Oh, those break off for no reason. Otherwise, other times you'll press too hard and break it. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife. You can use a, a sharp uh, pocket knife. You can use a uh, one-sided uh, razor blade. Any of those are fine. Now, what I'm trying to do, and the reason I don't use, if I did a mechanical sharpening, you know, a store-bought sharpener, I'd get this, and this is straight here. What I want is, and I'll exaggerate it a little bit, but anywhere in here is fine. What I want is this idea. So here's my chalk exposed. Here's my chalk exposed as long as I want it that much or this much, anything in there. But I want it slightly bowed and then I want several sheets of paper and even a little more than this isn't bad. But I'm going down to the last pad. So it pillows a little bit. And that way when I lay my slightly curved pencil there'll be a slight depression, not this much, but a slight depression in the paper. And I'm gonna be laying then my lead or charcoal, my medium in there, and this will curve away that way. And when I draw, I don't draw like this, I draw like this. And I get my sharp edges not by having a super sharp point. That's what we need when we're here. And then we bring it up and draw our nice crisp line. And what I'll do, ooh, I should have grabbed one. I'm not sure where it's at. Um, what I'll have, I don't see it, but I'll have a, a piece of, uh, maybe it's over here. Nope, but I'll, I'll have a piece of sandpaper. Uh, or I'll buy the little sand pads. I usually just get sandpaper from the hardware store rather than buying those little cut pads that you get at art stores, but either one's fine. And I'll sand this down to get a nice sharp tip in there. So that's what you have to keep uh, sanding it down. And this Carbothello is very soft. And so it, the tip breaks down quickly. So you have to keep sharpening it. You have to keep staying on top of it. What I do is rather than drawing this where you've got to get that pencil up fairly high to get your crisp line. If I go against the stroke, it's a little thicker. If I go with the stroke, with the stroke, with the stroke, you know, meaning pointing the pencil in the direction of the stroke, the long axis of the pencil in the direction that the, the stroke is being pushed, and usually pulling back rather than pushing forward but sometimes you'll get nice crisp lines either way by keeping that in the direction. So that's what I do. I can lay this on its side and never touch the tip. The tip is up here off the paper. I'm leaving, laying the side of the, the chalk on the paper there. But if I stay in line, I get that nice crisp edge and I'll roll it around and check up here to make sure I'm not getting some little flat facet of it since it's kind of chunky and not smoothed mechanically out or carefully uh, rounded off 
you know, conically rounded off on our sandpaper. So I'll double check over here to make sure I'm getting a crisp edge. And then I'll go ahead and draw that crisp edge, keeping my pencil in the long axis direction. And then at the same time, then I can quickly change to moving the stroke at a right angle or a strong angle against the long axis. And so now my long axis is at a T to the strokes I'm going to make, and then I get a soft edge. So I can go soft to hard, soft, soft to crisp, tone to line very, very quickly. So that's the secret for me is I don't carefully sharpen. I just strategically use. And you can do the same thing here. You just need to relax out a little bit. So I can go this way or this way in a writer's grip rather than that underhand kind of painter's grip. So I hope that helps.